So what we're going to make in this tutorial is a simple solution to grabbing something like a trolley. So what I've done is I very quickly and badly modeled this trolley um, and put just a simple metal on there. And we want to be able to walk over to this, grab it, push it around and let go. So we're going to need to grab our third person character as well, or whatever your player character is. And we're also going to want to create a blueprint class out of this. So let's create a new blueprint class, which we'll call trolley of type actor, trolley underscore BP. Now we have our trolley. Let's quickly drag and drop it into our scene. And that'll do. And let's also quickly give it a box component because this is where we want to be stood in order to be able to interact with the trolley. So our player needs to collide with that box component. We'll just call it box hit and compile that. Right now let's go back to our player and essentially we're actually going to cheat. We're going to drag a trolley into the player. Um, and let's sort of put it in the right place. This, uh, like I said, I very quickly modeled this, didn't even set the anchor point or scale it properly. <laughs> but we'll uh, fix that in a second because this trolley is huge. Um, for sort of sake of scale, let me just quickly drag and drop this guy in my world. Okay. Um, what do we think? Should we scale it down to like 0 0.8? 0 0.8. Yeah, that seems a bit better, doesn't it? Um, cool. Don't forget to scale the trolley here too. 0 0.8. Awesome. All right, now we've got our third person character. We've got our trolley. Let's just make sure it's attached to our mesh. And let's also add a box component to this too. Now, what this box is going to be is same same sort of principle, really. This is the part where we need to make sure that we sit in the right place to interact with this trolley. So, so long as this collision box is going to hit the other collision box. We should be good. Okay, and really quick, let's go back to our trolley and make sure it's set to invisible. And let's go to our box. And we want two things. We want a begin overlap. And we also want a end overlap. So once we begin and we overlap, we can set it to being able to actually grab the trolley. So let's cast to our trolley. We're basically saying when this overlaps, if it hits our trolley, awesome. But that's not enough there. We also want to get the is overlapping box hit. So we're gonna say, are you, oops, overlapping box hit? And the other is just going to be a reference to ourself. And we can see this is returning a bool, so we need to create a branch. I just held B and left click. Um, let's get that there. So we're going to say, are you overlapping these two components? And if so, we're going to want to create a variable. Um, and we'll call it can wrap. Now, by default, can grab is set to false. And we're going to say set to true. And what we'll also do is print this just so we know it's working. And essentially, let's just do the same thing cast to trolley. We won't bother with that part for this because um, it should be fine. 
but we will take you guys and make sure we set this to false. All right, let's just give this a quick test to make sure it's actually working. So if we press play, so we'll move that guy in a minute. That should have been printing. Why didn't that print? Let's just have a quick little look, see um, what happened there. So on box begin overlap. If box hit is overlapping with ourself, then we'll set this to true and we'll print true. Let's just make sure that the trolley and the box, let's just move the box a bit further out like that. Um, did I? No, I know what I did. I, I didn't. I dragged a static mesh in. I didn't actually put the blueprint version in. So we need to make sure we get the blueprint version in. Okay, let's walk up to a trolley. There we go. It says true. Walk away. It says false. True. False. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Um, so we want an input now what you want to do if you've not set up an input already I've already set one up because I just gave this a quick test um, you just go to your inputs go to project settings inputs and set something up I've set one up called trolley which I press T and it's going to do its thing um, so I'm just going to do trolley so and when I press trolley, I need to question, am I actually touching this? Am I capable of grabbing it? And if the answer is yes, if the answer is true, then we want to get reference to our trolley. And we're going to want to set visibility. So if it's true, we're going to set visibility as well as setting visibility we're also going to want to destroy the one in the world so let's get you and we'll just say destroy actor let's see if this works so we walk over and we press C and we've now got our trolley Again, it's a very sort of simple system, and what you'd want to do as well, you'd want to create an animation um, to sort of match this up. But I'm not going to bother setting up animation for now. We're just looking at a simple sort of solution. It doesn't look great, but you know, it'll be fine. Let's say we actually want to release this trolley as well. So what we will have to do is, once we've pressed this, we're going to say we have a trolley. Um, have trolley. So I'm just creating a new boolean, which by default is it's false, and let's set it to true. So when we've got it, we have the trolley. Now, once we've questioned if we can grab it, we also going to need to question: Do we already have a trolley? So let's get a trolley. Um, get and so we're saying have we already got a trolley if we don't have a trolley then we want to set the visibility um, and we want to do all that whereas if we do have the trolley then we're going to want to set the visibility again but this time set to invisible and we're going to want to spawn in a new trolley in the world spawn actor from class and this is going to be our trolley now in terms of where to spawn it we're going to use the reference to this trolley here we're going to say get world transform which will pump into there um, and once we've done that we need to tell it that we no longer have the trolley It. All right, I think that should do it. Let's just give it a test. So 
So we walk over and we press T. We pick this trolley up and we push it around. And we're a bit bored of this trolley now, so we press T again. And it didn't let go. What? Right, so we say we press T and we say, can we grab it if it's true? Oh, because we don't actually need to do this, do we? Um, so we're saying we can only let it go if that is true. But in fact, I think we just need to do these the other way around. I think we're asking the questions in the wrong order. Right, so we say, do we have a trolley? If we do have a trolley, if it's true we have a trolley, then we do this. However, if we don't have a trolley, we say, can we grab? And if we can grab, then we do this. Right, so let's give that a test. So if we press T next to nothing, nothing happens. Walk over, press T to grab the trolley. Push it around, we got bored, press T to let go. We did it. Walk over, press T to grab it again. I think the scale's off, I need to check the scale on that. Yeah. The scale's off. Um, but there you go, we can press T to grab the trolley, walk over, grab it. Just make sure you set your scale is the right thing. And there we go, we have a nice, simple system where we can grab a trolley. Like I say, it'd be nice to sort of set up um, an animation for this. I'm just gonna have a look at the scale. You know, it's not bothered about the scale. Um, it'd be nice to set up uh, an animation for this, but otherwise, that should be fine. Cool. Thanks for watching.